Hello everybody, this is Love Lifts and welcome to my Q&A video. First off, I'd like to thank you for all your questions that I've received over the past couple of weeks. I've received quite a lot of questions, which I will answer here. So let's get into it. First questions are from Lift Excelsior and his first question is, do you reckon you'll film any lifts in Ireland one day? Yes, Ireland is definitely a trip to, trip to consider in the future. Not quite sure when that will be, but hopefully when the COVID is over, I'll be able to consider a trip. Second question is, what's one lift I filmed that you really want to see? I'd love to see the lifts at Dundrum, that place looks awesome. But the one particular lift I'd love to see is the Schindler M series at the Pavilion Shopping Centre. Can't go wrong with that, my chronic logic. And his third question is, what is the best shop chain for lifts? For me, it was uh, either between H&M or New Look. I decided to go with H&M, mostly because they have eco discs like this one here. So I'll close that works. Slow doors. Then co eco disc. And a couple of other H&Ms I've been in had Schindler 3300s. The lift at H&M at Cabot Circus. Schindler 3300 MRL. And now we move on to ZZ9 Productions. So question one, which Kone fixture line is your favourite? For me, it's got to be KSSD20 because I really like the look of them and it makes the lift look very bright and very attractive. I like the white panel. As you can see, I've been in a white KSSD20 and also a black KSSD20 lift. Focus camera. New eco lift. Second question is which lift in the UK would I most like to film one day? For me, it's got to be the Singing Tiss and Krupp lift at the South Bank Centre in London. It looks absolutely epic and I love the concept of a singing lift. Third question is what's your favourite old lift? Installation near 1990 or older. I've chosen these old Otis lifts at Cavendish House in Cheltenham because I've taken quite a number of rides in them on my visits to Cheltenham. They were installed in the 1960s and this one still remains epic to this day. Here we are. Next is Kent Lifts and his first question is, have we ever been to the South East? I've been to London but I haven't been to Kent or Essex but it's somewhere I'd like to go in the future. Next is, what's my favourite 90s lift? Well, my favourite current 90s lift are these Otis 2000 VFs at the Celtic Manor Hotel in Newport. Not only did they have one of the most stunningly beautiful interiors I've seen in a lift, but they also went a very nice fast 2 metres a second. Beautiful lifts. It's fast. He's also had rather rare drift growth messages. Stand clear, doors closing. Question 3. Have I seen an Excelsior lift? No, not yet, but I'm on the hunt for one. Now we move on to some hand dryer questions from Leo Ollier. And question 1 is, what is my favourite hand dryer where I have filmed? Well, for me, my favourite hand dryer has got to be the Dyson Airblade. This is the original Dyson Airblade. And when these first came out, it really intrigued me with the design and the high speed and that they were just so efficient and Dyson still makes really amazing hand dryers up to this day. Like this Dyson Airblade DB. The Dyson Airblade B. And the Dyson Tap and Hand Dryer, which is literally the first one of its kind that I've ever come across and reviewed, but it worked amazingly. Question 2. What was my least favourite hand dryer I filmed? Well, it has got to be this dreadful thing. It 
is just rubbish. Very bad sensors, warm air. My hand is still soaking wet. <laughs> My hand was much wetter than it looked on camera. Question three, what hand dries would I like to film? I'd like to film a Mitsubishi Jet Towel and a PHS Airstream in the future. Next is Lift Tracker. Question one, what is my favourite past company? For instance, Express, Benny, Hammond and Champness or Evans? I haven't been in any Hammond and Champness lifts, but I have been in a modernised Benny, but not an original one. This one was modded by Rubax, then modded again by Tissenkrupp. I have been in an original Express lift. I like your Express lift profile picture, by the way. Awesome. Isn't that just epic? But I have been in more Evans lifts than I have Express or Benny, let alone Hammond and Jamness. Here is a 70s Evans, and then an 80s Evans. Classic leveling. And a glass 90s Evans. Nice view of the shopping centre from here. Next question, have I been in a lift motor room? Sort of, but I wouldn't necessarily count that as a proper motor room visit, only just to store my late granddad's recycling bags in it. This one was for an old CLC hydraulic lift, modernised with lesser controls by Abbey Lifts. Question 3, which motor room would I most like to see? I'd like to see the glass Kone lifts at the Science Museum, now that they've replaced the original motor with the bottom drive version of the EcoDisc. Now we go on to Lift Inspector. Question 1. What is my favourite lift of all time? Well, before they got removed, my favourite lifts of all time were these glass Schindler M series at the Gallery Shopping Centre in Bristol, which is basically how my lift interest started, and more, more details on that will come later on in the video with KA Left's question. Question 2. Do I hope to film lifts around the world in the future? Definitely. And question three is, what is my least favourite stroke worst lift I've seen filmed? Well, my least favourite and worst lift I've filmed is this completely and utterly messed up stanner. It is so messed up that you have to wait 10 seconds for the doors to close before you press any buttons. Otherwise it'll just reopen and not move. And when it does work, it's just your typical generic hydraulic lift. Next we have Northern Irish lifts. So question one, what is my favourite third gen eco disc? Well I've got two favourites here which I couldn't decide between. This first one is at the Cardiff Central Library and when you look at it it looks like a second generation eco disc with the KSS 470 but it surprised me as it had the more powerful third generation motor. Third generation motor. And my second favourite third gen eco discs are these ones at the Llewellyn Car Park in Cambran. The thing that's the most special about these lifts is that it's got the eco disc voice saying custom messages. 1600 kilos, 21 persons, and still 2012. Second question is, what's the best place I've been to? My, the best place I've been to is Cardiff as it's the capital of Wales and there's loads of lifts to film. Third question is, what is my favourite lift from 2010 to present? This took quite a lot of thinking about and a lot of whittling down, but it came down to two lifts. Firstly, these Schindler 5500s at Venice Airport. These were some of the first 5500s that I filmed and they were absolutely awesome that I was really impressed with their efficiency and their full intelligent levelling. These also had pre-start as well as beautiful pictures of Venice on the shafts. Look at that! Beautiful shaft design! There goes that lift. And again the other side as well. RGB escalators. Beautiful. 
And these are my second favourite lifts from 2010 to present. These are the 2015 Eco Discs at the Forest Walk Centre in Newport. When it, and this was filmed when they were brand new. And they were the first glass Eco Discs that I filmed. And there you can see the 4th Gen Motor. Next is KA Lifts questions. Question 1. What first made me get interested in lifts? Back in 2006 when this was filmed, I was about 10 and I was a very regular visitor to the Gallery Shopping Centre in Bristol and it was seeing these lifts and the cabling, the 2 to 1 cabling, that really sparked an interest off. It was mainly the cables that interested, in, that interested me and there's going to be a video of that coming on my channel soon. Question 2 is what is the best hydraulic lift I have seen? And that is an easy one. The best hydraulic I've seen is this absolutely epic, amazing old lift at the Casa Bartolo in Barcelona. And it is a tourist attraction, you do have to pay to enter. But this lift is definitely worth paying for in my opinion. Not only was the lift absolutely epic, the whole architecture inside the building was just outstanding. Definitely a highlight from my Barcelona holiday. And it felt like I was riding a traction lift. It is quite fast for a hydraulic. Here we are. <coughs> Ready, lift filmers hoping to go to Barcelona. This lift is one to ride. This is a fun one. If I won the lottery and had the money to install any lift I wanted in my house, what would this ideal lift be like? Well, as much as I love eco discs, I would have to say I'd like a Schindler 5500. I haven't been in that many of them and they are really nice lifts. Next is It's Noah and his question is when are my next hand dryer compilations? I'm not quite sure yet because I haven't quite got enough videos for one so stay tuned and hopefully I'll get more clips. Rahan 2003 asks what unusual lifts I have, have I found? I found quite a lot of unusual lifts but I wanted to show the most unusual, this first one being the lift at the Casa Batlo, which I've also mentioned in the previous question. This lift is absolutely epic, it's a manual gated swing door lift and it just feels really nice and old. Yeah, but it's a Gaudi. Yes. In order. Let's look out. And here we are. <coughs> That's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. With this next lift, I'm leaving the location undisclosed for now until I upload it to YouTube. But this lift is also really quite interesting. It's a swing door lift. Is this thing single speed? Ooh, that doesn't sound good. This went down really slowly and went up much faster, so this must be a hydraulic single speed. Ooh, big bump. The next interesting unusual lift that I found is this modded Schindler R series with Kone M series panel and logic at the St David's Hall in Cardiff. Ground floor. That's fantastic phenomenon. Full intelligence. Doors open. Thank you. Thank you very much. This next lift is incredibly cheap. And the reason why it is that cheap is because it's a temporary lift. The shaft is temporary, the lift is temporary, the motor is temporary, everything about it is temporary. And then after time, it will just get dismantled and moved on to another location. That's in here, it's in persons, it's traction. This is a very cheap lift. It's basically a flat pack lift. I'm going to wipe this one first. And the last interesting lift just speaks for itself really. Absolutely awesome, inner doorless, old Otis lifts at the Airbnb I stayed in at Montreux, Switzerland. So let's go to five. Nice motor sound. Here we are. Big bump. Next is James Parsons. He asks, what is your favourite hand dryer? 
I've mentioned it previously in the video, my favourite hand dryer is the original Dyson Airblade. Now we have two questions from Mr. D 1980 ROI lifts. First one is what is the oldest lift I've been in? And the oldest lift I've been in is from Barcelona and it's located at a hostel in hey. somewhere in the city. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is a death trap. But this lift is absolutely epic. It was installed in like the 1910s or something like that. But this lift is just absolutely awesome. It felt old, but the VF mod sadly ruined it a little bit. But other than that, it was still absolutely epic. And it made some rather funky noises. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's bumpy. Here we are. And the second question was, what is the scariest lift I've been in? Well, the scariest lift for me is this really cheap Otis 2000H at Membry Services. This lift was a complete, utter death trap. And it also smelt of hydraulic and it had some kind of leak in the hydraulic, which is why it absolutely shook like crazy. So there it was 2000H. It's only a cheap one. Ooh, whoa, 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 this is a death trap. Right, we're getting out of here. <laughs> and the last question of this Q&A video is from Global Lifts and Transport 15. What is the best lift in the Science Museum in London? And the best lift for me are these glass Konees. This was recorded while they were still original with Kone M series logic and they had the awesome chimes. Was that on the floor? I can't remember. Yeah, it's on three. Kone. And that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys for sending in your questions. I've really enjoyed answering them. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more lifts and escalators coming up on my channel soon. But for now, thanks for watching, and that's it.